So you decided you are moving to Cleveland and have your heart set on finding your dream home in the West Park area. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons that it might not be the perfect spot for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Living in Cleveland. I'm Patty, Patty Sells CLE, and I make videos about all things Northeast Ohio, Northwest Ohio, and even down South. You know the drill. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I love it. I respond to them. Um, so, you know, I love my city. I've been making these videos for, gosh, almost three years now, over three years. So I've done videos on pretty much every suburb, every neighborhood, you name it. Um, and today I'm going to talk again about West Park. Um, a few weeks ago, I did a video on all of the neighborhoods in Cleveland. There's 34 separate little neighborhoods and, um, I covered seven, 17 general areas. And I mentioned this website, this is cleveland.org. And they kind of went off of them because they, they highlight 17 neighborhoods and the West Park neighborhood Everything they talked about was Cam's Corners. So I am here to tell you as a um, person born and raised in West Park that Cam's Corners is a separate neighborhood from two other areas that is also considered West Park. And that is the airport neighborhood and also the um, Belair Puritus neighborhood. So this video is about Cam's Corners specifically. So Let's get started and what is Cam's Corners? Okay, it is a tight knit little neighborhood um, and Cam's Corners is actually a little shopping center on the corner of Rocky River Drive and Lorraine. And what's there, there's a Marks that's there and if you're not familiar with Cleveland, Marks is like, um, it's like a discount store. Um, he's got groceries, you know, anything you need, but not almost everything. You know, Mark's is the place to go if you want cheap food. You know, you could get most of your shopping done at a Mark's. Um, there's also a restaurant in there. Back in the day when I was a kid, there was a movie theater there. There's a subway. There's a restaurant, Jean's Place. So that's a little corner right there. Um, but also along that corner of Rocky Road Drive on the Rain, there's lots of bars and restaurants, the public house, and it's a very Irish area. So all the bars, most of them are all have some sort of Irish um, association with it. So um, the public house is an Irish themed bar. Gosh, my grandfather back in the 70s would go there. Um, everybody knows each other. Everybody's like the joke is like it, was, it used to be the Chambers public house and um, the big funeral home in West Park is Chambers Funeral Home. So the joke was, oh, which chambers are you? Are you the sit down chambers or the lay down chambers? Uh, so it's not owned by chambers anymore. Um, it's just the public house. So if you want a great corned beef sandwich or anything like that, public house is gr a great place to go. Um, and then across the street on the other side of Lorraine, but still on Rocky River Drive, you have PJ McIntyre's owned by the Campbells. Um, which was rated, uh, I think, who rated it? One of those like TripAdvisor or something, the number one um, Irish pub, I think in the country. And uh, it, it's, it is, it's beautiful bar. They have Irish music all the time. And both the public house and PJs have a party room in the basement you can rent out. Um, I've, I think, I think my, was it at PJs or at public house? I don't know. When I was a teacher, I would have, I was in charge of the Christmas party and we, I would always rent out the public house for, um, cause that was before PJ McIntyre's was about, but I would rent out the basement of the um, public house for our office Christmas party. And I'm pretty sure my husband had my 40th party at the basement of PJ McIntyre's. So, um, always fun. Um, so anyways, Tam's corner. So that's where it's at. And I'm going to say, and, we, and even back in the day, like people over by like 140th area and even going towards like West 130th. And when I was in like high school, there it was the only Marks was over there on like 140th in Lorraine, um, where the Marks is at Cam's Corners was like a pick and pay. And then it became like, I can't remember what grocery store it was, but it was always a grocery store. But people down there were like, oh yeah, we're, we're, in, we're this is Cam's Corners. I'm like, no, it's not. You don't live in Cam's Corners. Uh, so this is my biased view of what I believe Cam's Corners is. 
I believe it's three parishes because, um, and I'm going to go back and I think I mentioned it when I did my whole Cleveland neighborhood video. Um, I was raised in the seventies and eighties and Cleveland, um, had what desegregation at busing of the schools. And that's when all of the kids from the East side got bused to the West side and the kids from the West side got bused to the East side. It was a terrible, terrible idea. Um, my next door neighbor, Ann, um, and this is when we lived on West 157th off Puritus, which is really not considered Cam's Corners, but I'm going to, I feel kind of like it is because we were all so close. Um, that's really off Puritus. So it's part of that Puritus Bel Air, but it was so close to Lorraine um, that I consider it pretty close as part of St. Pat's Parish. Um, so my parents could not get me into the St. Pat's school because they did not want me. I was like eight years old. They did not want me they did not want to put me on a bus and ship me out to the east side. Um, and my, But my next door neighbor, Ann, and she was three years older than me, she did. They didn't have any options. She did get bus and she ended up, she missed so much school. And it was, that's why it was such a terrible idea because just the, yeah, you couldn't, you know, bad weather. They couldn't go. She missed so much school. She had to repeat a whole year because of it. Just because and it wasn't her fault. The buses wouldn't show up or, you know, who knows? It was awful. So anyways, my parents couldn't get me into St. Pat's, so that's why we moved over to what I consider the heart of Cam's Corner is Our Lady of Angels, and that's where I ended up going to grade school, OLA, we called it, the Cougars. So I consider St. Pat's, which is on the, is it Puritus and, um, and Rocky River Drive, and then um, there's Our Lady of Angels, which is like right next door to Cam's Corner, so Rocky River Drive and Lorraine. And then also I consider St. Mark's, which is part of Warren Village. And when I do the video, I'm going to show you Warren Village. So those were the three main parishes and those were like our big rivals. And, um, you know, we, to this day, like I'm a cougar and you're a patriot and I can't remember what St. Mark's was. So I consider those three parishes and like, oh, and then there was St. Mel's and I'm like, nah, but we would always argue like, you're not part of Cam's Corner, whatever. It doesn't matter. So let's talk about reasons why. And it, let me just tell you one thing. Cam's Corners, if you want that suburban feel, which this might be the one, one number one reason why maybe you don't want to live in Cam's Corners because you definitely are going to get a suburban feel. It is just like, like going to Fairview Park, uh, maybe even Lakewood. You, you're going it, to, it does feel more like a suburb than being in what I like Ohio City or Tremont, one of those hipper areas closer to downtown, you definitely get a suburban feel. So if you're looking for that urban hip area, camps may not be it for you because it's families, um, you know, you're close to the Metro parks, it's right there. There's like two entrances, like within walking distance or uh, like when I was a kid, um, and I point to it when we get to the video of like, there was this, there was this, we called it the cow path and we would go behind this fence and we would just walk down this hill to get down to the Metro parks. Um, definitely a suburban feel. Um, so take that into account, but because of that, the houses are beautiful. And I have a picture of the house that I grew up in, uh, when we lived on Marquis and, it was beautiful. Actually, you're going to get beautiful brick tutors, all kinds, just a variety of homes, safe, a lot of families. Um, so when I was growing up, um, and everybody on my street, because, because of busing, pretty much everybody on the street, we all went to private schools. We went to the Catholic school that was right there. And I didn't realize this because it's expensive now to send your kids to, you know, private schools. But my mom said that back then it was free. So we didn't have to pay anything. I think it was, yeah. So that was one of the big reasons. It wasn't that we were hoity-toity. It just didn't cost anything. Um, you had to be a member and they expected you to give money to the church. But other than that, there really wasn't any tuition. So, <clears throat> Because we all went to that Catholic school, it was very, very tight. And back then, and until in the last 10 years, if you worked for the city of Cleveland, you had to live in the city of Cleveland. So like my neighbors and my dad worked for the city. He was a bailiff with the courts, with the um, municipal court. And um, so on my street, we had cops, we had firemen, we had a judge. So everybody, and everybody happened to be Irish for the most part. So every, all of our parents knew each other. Um, 
it was just a great place to grow up. Um, yeah, so, and then when they changed the law, I think it's probably been over 10 years now, people, because they were like, this is where they grew up. I mean, I still have friends that I grew up with. In fact, I'm having, um, I'm meeting her tomorrow. We went to grade school together and we're meet, getting, a, she still lives in her parents' house. And that I have a few friends who still live in their, you know, where they grew up in that neighborhood because it's so tight knit. Um, okay, so that being said, brings me to my number two reason why Cam's Corners might not be a fit for you. Because nobody leaves, there's no inventory. I just looked on the um, on the MLS. There is one house, two houses in West Park. Now, granted, it's the end of January. The spring market hasn't really started, so we still have a lot of low inventory. Um, there's one house, but it's been on the market for a uh, 142 days on River Edge, and it's the most expensive house, and it's two ninety nine nine, and it's been on the market for 142 days. So there's not a lot of inventory. In fact, the house I grew up in, because I'm like it has always been my dream. I was heartbroken when my parents sold the house, and it how the house, and I'm like I always keep an eye out for it. And uh, when the house next door that belonged to the Campbells, I used to babysit for him. When it went for sale, I went and looked at it. I went to the open house. I'm like, oh, my God. So many memories here. But the house I grew up in, it changed hands. Um, it sold over the summer, but it never went for sale. So it either went to a family member or whatever, um, but never hit the market. Um, my best friend Mary, her brother lives, her one brother lives in her, their childhood home, and her other brother lives in the grandparents' home. So there's not a lot of inventory. So it's very hard to get into that neighborhood. Which brings me to the third reason why Cam's Corners may not be a good fit for you. If you think you're going to, hey, I'm going to live in this neighborhood. It's going to be way less expensive than going to a suburb. You're wrong. Like I said, this house on River Edge that's been on the market for 142 days, they're asking $299.9, $300,000 for a house in Cleveland, that's an older home. I'm not talking about those hip, brand new townhouses that you're going to see in Tremont and Ohio City. No, these are old homes. This one's actually kind of dated. It's got beautiful hardwood, but it's kind of dated. So because there's no inventory, the prices are sky high. In fact, the house that I grew up in, I'm our key. I think it was, th it, the, it transferred, was sold for $333,000 for uh, what was a three bedroom with an, a finished attic. Um, yeah, not a big yard. So you're going to pay a pretty price to live in that heart of Camp's Corners. And if you're going to live in Camp's, like if I was going to live in Camp's Corners, that's where I'd want to live. There's like, you know, I would narrow, it's like maybe 20 streets that I'm like, yep, I'm right, I'm good to go right there. Right around Camp's Corners, anything off where I could drive down to the border of Lakewood, like St. Mark's Parish, OLA Parish, and then even going towards St. Pat's Parish, it, you know, the, the prices go down a little bit the closer you get to the airport. Um, but other than that, you're going to pay a premium to live in Cam's Corners. But there's a reason why, because you have families, you have beautiful homes. Um, yeah, you can walk. Uh, when I graduated from college, I lived right behind the, the, the Jeans Place, the restaurant at Cam's Corners, because, uh, and back then, the public house was the only bar, the major but we had castle bar too which is no longer there so we would but we could walk to the bars which was really important for us like we'd go down the flats do our thing and then get a taxi or somebody would drive us back you know to west park where we lived and we would always end up at the public house and we could walk home from there so that's kind of important if you're looking for places to walk to being real close to that i mean you've got a mexican place there uh, west park station you got smedley's you've got bands every weekend it's hopping on the weekends so um, you're going to pay the high prices. Um, I talked about the suburban feel. If you're looking for that, you're not going to want it. High prices, slow inventory. Like if something comes on the market and my best friend, Mary, she, for some reason, she was looking at houses. She's like to move back to Cam's Corners, even though she lives over the bridge in Fairview Park, she's looking for a smaller home. Um, we were looking and if it came on the market, we went, we would go look at these places. Big, we had to wait in line to get into these houses and they would sell in a day and they still do. If they're priced right and they're updated or whatever, they sell like that. So if, if you have your heart set on cams, you need an agent that's going to um, be on top of things, knows the area very well. Um, that's gonna, Hey, this is it. This is the house. I know the street. Chances are, I probably know a couple people living on the street. 
Uh, so make sure you have a great agent. Okay, um, the last thing, I mentioned the airport. The airport is right down the road. In fact, I was dropping off a couple at the airport at 4.30 this morning, yes. And I don't live in Cam's Corners anymore. I live out in the Amherst Lorraine area. Of course, this couple's coming from Port Clinton. They spent the night, I sold them a house um, over the summer. So they st spent the night at my house so they could be at least closer to the airport. So they're leaving their car here. They're gonna be back in a couple days. So I got up early, dropped them off at the airport. I'm 30 minutes from the airport, but if you live in Camps Corners, you're, it's right down the road, which is great if you travel a lot because just go down Rock River Drive, boom, there's the airport. Now, what's well, what's bad about that? The noise. <laughs> Growing up close to the airport, let me tell you, it was, you get used to it, but I remember as a kid, like, hey, if you're on the phone, like, hold on, there's a plane coming over. And usually I was talking to somebody else, you know, one of my girlfriends who also lives in in Cam's Corner. So we were both hearing the plane. So we just stopped talking or the TV. And back then we didn't have remote control to press pause. You couldn't hear the TV. In fact, the closer you got to the airport, it was so bad. Um, about 20 years ago, the airport, I think they wanted to expand or something. And they made a deal with the city of Cleveland that if you lived in certain areas because of the noise pollution, um, in fact, my ex-husband, his grandparents' house, was able to take advantage of it. They got brand new windows, brand new AC, and heating, you know, just so that you could have the AC. And if you had a house that didn't have AC, they put it in for you. Um, just because the noise, it gets, it's so deafening. Um, so if you're not a fan of loud noise, you know, and I know a lot of people, they get turned off by being close to a railroad track. There's no railroads over there. Um, really, well, there's one off Chatfield, but I don't even know if it, I've never heard any noise from the railroad. It's the it's the the airport that really, really makes a difference. And even when I lived in North Olmstead, I was still super close to the airport. But the way that planes come in, it's like they come in right over Cam's Corners. Like literally, when I fly home, I'll look out the window. I'm like, oh, there's Mark's. Oh, there's the public house. Oh, there's PJ. You can see it. So it goes right over there. So it's just the way the planes come in that makes it so, so loud. Now, all that being said, if you can get over it, which I can, I mean, if I could move back there, I would. Um, if you can get over all of that, Cam's Corners, it's, I love it. The homes are beautiful. The neighborhood is beautiful. Lots of trees. You're so close to the Metro Parks. You can just ride down. You can go down off Rocky River Drive, it's right into Lakewood down Stingecomb Hill or right behind Fairview Hospital. We used to call it Dead Man's Curve because it's really windy. There's an entrance there or you go down to uh, Puritus and there's the Great and Road exit entrance there. So that being said, like I said, there's a hospital right there. Um, you could walk to it, which is great. That's where I was born. That's where my kids were born. It's now part of the Cleveland Clinic. So you have access to that. You have... Um, the, the Catholic churches with the schools. In fact, they're all combined. St. Pat's isn't even a school anymore. Um, I don't I don't even know if it used to be West Park Academy or something like that. I don't even know if it is anymore, but OLA is still thriving. St. Mark's is still thriving. <clears throat> so you have shopping centers, you have Warren Village, which is your giant eagle, bunch of restaurants there and bars. Um, and then you have the Marks there at Cam's Corners. You have Everything you need, you hop on 90 one way and you're in downtown in 10 minutes or, you know, go down 150th, you got 71. Or if you go down Rocky River Drive um, to Puritus, hop on 480 and get you anywhere. So it's easy access to pretty much everything. Um, it's a great area. I love it. Obviously, I grew up there. I'm biased. So I hope you enjoy this video of Camps Corners. And as always, if you're looking to move to the Cleveland area, give me a call. I'm here to help. I know I've never lived anywhere else. I know the east side. I know the west side. I know down south. So I love it. Cleveland's my favorite city in the whole world because uh, I've only lived here. So hope you enjoy West Park and I'll see you next time.